Come on, baby. Give me an Ike. Give me an Ike. Oh, that's a ring. That's a ring. That's a ring. That's a ring. That's a ring, baby. Let's go. Oh, ring. Micaiah. Do I hear Micaiah? Oh, woo. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the titties. Come on. Come on. Daddy new needs a new pair of titties. Let's go. Oh, ring. Come on. Come on. Camilla. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, let's try to get on. Yeah, let's try to get on. That'd be epic. <laughs> Come on. Oh, ring. This is it. Come on, dude. I swear to God. This is gonna be the stupidest fucking thing in the world. <laughs> uh, Edelgard. Edelgard. Here we go. Four in a row, baby. Four in a row. I can make this happen. I can make this happen. Ooh. Oh, no, dude. This is a <laughs> I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket after this. No, oh, fuck you. And. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, dare three? Hey, that's that's good luck for Sigurd. We gotta get Sigurd. We gotta get Sigurd. I need an Elgar, please, dude. She's so busted. Oh, that's a ring. That's a ring. Come on, here we go. I'm impatient, okay? Sorry, look, like, the the entire basis of this channel is centered around my impulses, okay? My inability to control my impulse. Like, I, I just do shit, okay? I didn't want to wait for, like, a couple days to use my goddamn tickets. I'm sorry. Alright, hello, my name's Jar of Secrets, and today we'll be summoning on a legendary Sigurd's Banner, baby! Uh, Genealogy of the Holy War is a very story-driven game. It's got... A lot of events that are best not spoiled. I know our community can be kind of stupid with the memes, but if at least one person hasn't experienced the the, the events that gone on and like doesn't know anything, I, I'd like to keep it secretive. So be very careful with this goddamn video because oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I guess this video is over. <laughs> Never mind. I won't be talking about anything. <laughs> Right off the bat, uh, plus HP, I'll take it. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously we're gonna go for Sigurd here, because his art looks glorious and weird at the same time. His face looks kinda weird, but, uh, goddamn. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go for red and blues. I, I think I want a legendary Chrome. This is my alt account. My, uh, main account has been primarily supposed to be saving up orbs for, uh, Brave Mary Ann. But I'm, again, very impulsive, and I've been trying to get Baby Lara Shell on the main account. I did get it on the alt account, I was happy about that, but... The main account, uh, got pity broken by Katria, and got pity broken by, uh, Duo Erika's. So, I just, I don't know. Reds are not very nice to me, but I guess I'll take that Sigurd earlier. God damn! <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> okay, we got a ball bar here. Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna openly talk about uh, my opinions on genealogy because I did play it not too far away from today. Why the fuck did I say it like that? Um, the thing is, genealogy of the old war is it's an older game. It's from like I think '94 or some shit. I don't even freaking know. It's an older game, maybe '97. And I mean, some of the SNES graphics are kind of turn off and everything, but like the events of genealogy are just so fantastic. It's such a story-driven game. The gameplay is kind of different than most Fire Emblems, so it can be a bit of a turn-off. So, like, it's, yeah, the graphics turn off you a bit, but so does the gameplay mechanics, too. But the fact that Three Houses took so much inspiration from genealogy with its, like, coveted uh, relic weapons and even I, I even its villain. I mean, Edelgard kind of places a lot of inspiration, I feel, from... Uh, I don't even freaking remember his name. The Flame... The Flame Emperor took inspiration from the flame dude okay that shit and geology like, I, I wouldn't say Sigurd is necessarily like a good character like personality wise because uh most of genealogy takes place around the events around him i would say kind of like how fire Emblem seven elliewood 
Eliwood's story. Eliwood doesn't have a personality. He's fucking, he's kind of boring. I don't really like Eliwood. But, um, Sigurd is basically a better version of Eliwood in every single way. First of all, Sigurd is a fucking monster of a unit. Eliwood kind of sucks. Like, he doesn't get a horse until, like, late game and then he gets lances. Fucking right off the bat, Sigurd gets lances and he gets a horse. And horses are busted in genealogy because they have road, uh, tiles and we get a Celica. Wow, okay. I, listen, lady, I, I need to talk about this game, not you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Plus speed. That's pretty good. I'll take it. But yeah, um, Sigurd is a fantastic unit. He, like I said, a lot of the events around genealogy takes place. Like, he, he doesn't have much of a personality, but, like, the events that happen to him, it's, it's fucking up. It's fucking up his life, you know? Like, Eliwood loses his father. He loses his waifu. Um, and all that other shit. But, like, Sigurd, he loses his wife, but not because she dies. She gets kidnapped and then, like, gets married off. And, like, she gets brainwashed and shit, and it's, it's fucking him up. Meanwhile, he's having to take care of his, his, his lowly son by himself. And then, like, you know, Sigurd also loses his father. But then at the end of the events, like, Sigurd gets betrayed and he and his homies, they all get massacred in the big whatever the fucking shit it was. And it, like, it broke my heart when it freaking happened. I know a lot of people like to meme me about it. Like, oh, Sigurd likes barbecues. But, dude, like, the build up to it, like, I knew it was going to happen because I got, I got freaking spoiled. And I, I felt heartbroken. Like, it's like, it's like, I don't know, Empire of the Strikes, Empire Strikes Back where, you know, the heroes lose. That's what it feels like. It's just so heartbreaking, dude. Because like you, you see Quan, uh, Sigurd's best friend, and uh, Ethlyn, his sister, and they get massacred in the desert. And you're just, you can't do anything to help them. And then like you finally win the battle without their help, despite the fact that they died and everything. And then they fucking Arvis or whatever the fuck his name is, the dad. He stabs you in the back, and he like he. Burns you to hell, and it just, it fucked me up, dude. I was really, really upset, even though I was, I was spoiled by it. So, uh, I think this incarnation of Sigurd is as if he wouldn't have been murdered violently, burned to a crisp, uh, became extra spicy, but, uh, it's just, I don't know, it just really fucked me up. Uh, especially because I was extremely, uh, what is it? I was very... Sentimental towards Aranus. I, like Aranus came out like you know her thighs look extra nice, but her Fe4 sprite doesn't look too good because it's dated. But like, I really like Aranus because she was such a sweetheart and she was so nice and innocent. And I married her with Lewin, who is arguably one of the, the most popular genealogy uh, characters because he's like he hits like a truck, and he he has a pretty good uh, part in the story. Like Joshua from. Uh, Sacred Stones has a lot of inspiration from Lewin. And then, after the massacre, uh, Lewin dies, but Aranus is left home, like, wishing for him to come back. And Lewin kind of takes in the role of, uh, what's his name? Gilbert? Whatever the fuck his name is from, from three, from Blue Lines route, where he, you know, helps Seleph to, to take that, take back the kingdom. The thing is, Gilbert has, like, his redemption arc and everything with Annette and everything. And, like, he has a good, uh, you know, he comes to terms with his shit. But, Lewin's a fucking dick! Jesus Christ, dude! Fuck you, Lewin, you fucking cunt! I hate him, dude! He does not give a shit that Aaron has, like, died waiting for him to come back home. I was so upset, dude. I love Aaron is. And then, like, he says, fuck you to, to Sed and, uh, his daughter, Fee. He's like, this is none of your business, bitch! I'm like, I'm your fucking daughter! Of course it's my business! Fuck you, Lewin, you fucking cunt. Dude, like, Lewin's an asshole. Like, he's he's Gilbert, but, like, shitty version. He's Gilbert and Joshua, but shitty version. Fuck you, Lewin. But, like, dude, like, honestly, if you like FE7, if you like uh, Three Houses, you're gonna absolutely love genealogy. The only thing you gotta get uh, behind it is... How weird uh, the character, not the character, the play, the the character, the play, the playing field is. Like it's got a lot of mechanics that are confusing, but it's it's a fantastic game. I would say it's top three. 
I'm currently playing three houses on on Twitch. I gotta I gotta plug this bitch, and I'm playing Blue House Blue Lines route, and I, I see so much inspiration from genealogy because I played genealogy just before three houses, and it's just it's fantastic, dude. Like to see like all the like revelations and the twists and turns and everything, and that's a Salina baby. Woo! I will take her. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use uh this last uh okay minus attack. We're gonna use up this last gray, and we'll see if we get something decent here. We got a pretty bad uh, pity rate, but honestly, just play genealogy. Such a good, such a good game. I don't think I'm doing it justice by n like just talking about this shit, but just such a good game. Ugh. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> we just burnt through a hundred orbs. <laughs> All right, thank you very so much for watching this video. Um. Sure, leave a comment. Tell me, let me know if you guys did well on the summoning. And uh, I hope you're having a good time listening to me scream about how much I hate Lewin. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>